वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट वीडियो सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ लोकल अनस्थेटिक इंजेक्शन इज एन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके देन लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो सो वी हैव थ्री मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ लोकल अनस्थेटिक इंजेक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज द लोकल इन्फिल्ट्रेशन मीन लोकली वी आर गिविंग द इंजेक्शन सेकेंड वन इज द फील्ड ब्लॉक एंड थर्ड वन इज द नर्व ब्लॉक सो बिगिन विद द लोकल इन्फिल्ट्रेशन लुक एट द फिगर वी हैव अ मेन नर्व ट्रंक विच इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू लार्ज टर्मिनल नर्व एंड द टर्मिनल नर्व इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू सब ब्रांचेज इफ वी इन्फिल्ट्रेट द अनस्थेटिक सोल्यूशन इन दीज सब ब्रांचेज दीज आर कॉल्ड लोकल इन्फिल्ट्रेशन so in local infiltration the area of treatment is flooded with local anesthetic solution now the next one is the field block so look at the figure we have a main nerve trunk which is divided into a two large terminal nerve so in field block local anesthetic is given in the large terminal nerve and in the local infiltration we'll infiltrate the sub branches of the large terminal nerve so in field block local anesthetic is deposit near the large terminal nerve endings now the next is the nerve block look at the figure we have a main nerve trunk if we infiltrate the local anesthetic in the main nerve trunk then it is called nerve block so in nerve block local anesthetic is deposited close to the main nerve trunk we will discuss in detail about the supraperiosteal or local infiltration technique this is the most common technique of infiltration used nowadays okay then begin with the local infiltration periosteal injection technique also called local infiltration and commonly for obtaining pulpal anesthesia in maxillary teeth what are the indications of supraperiosteal injection first one is the pulpal anesthesia of maxillary teeth when treatment is limited to one or two teeth if treatment is limited to one or two teeth then we will not give nerve block or a field block in such cases supraperiosteal injection is sufficient in case of soft tissue anesthesia when indicated for surgical procedure in a circumscribed area means in a limited area Now, the contraindications of supraperiosteal or local infiltration injection technique in cases of infection or acute inflammation in the area of injection they are contraindicated in cases of dense bone covering the apices of teeth um, especially in case of mandibular bone where local infiltration will not work technique or step of supraperiosteal injection or local infiltration technique first of all clean the area with sterile dry gauze then apply topical anesthetic for minimum 1 minute for painless insertion of needle then 27 gauge short needle bevel is towards the bone is used and then lift the lip pulling the tissue taut then next step is hold the syringe parallel with the long axis of the tooth and then insert the needle into the height of mucobuccal fold over the target tooth so the position of needle is very very well clear now advance the needle until its bevel is at or above the apical region of tooth and then aspirate it is very important point if aspirate is negative then only deposit approximately 0.6 ml of uh, anesthetic solution over 20 second and then slowly withdraw the syringe so try to understand with the figure we have to clean the area with a sterile dry gauze as you can see in the figure we'll clean the target area with the dry sterile gauze After cleaning the area we'll apply topical anesthetic for minimum 1 minute for painless insertion of needle by applying the topical anesthetic we'll provide the painless path for the entry of the needle we can use xylo xylocaine jelly 
as a topical anesthetic solution. After applying topical anesthetic, we'll use 27 gauge short needle and lift and pull the lip to make the tissue taut. As you can see in the figure, bevel is not towards the bone, it is away from the bone. So this is a wrong way of insertion of needle. And this is the correct way of insertion of needle. As you can see, the bevel is towards the bone. It is not visible uh, from the eye because it is towards the bone. Now, we'll hold the syringe parallel with the long axis of the tooth and insert the needle into the height of mucobuccal fold over the target tooth. As you can see in the figure, we have a long axis of the tooth and we'll insert a needle or a syringe parallel to the long axis of the target tooth over the height of mucobuccal fold so that we can reach the apex of the tooth. Now aspirate the needle, it is very important point. If it is negative, then deposit approximately 0.6 ml of anesthetic solution over 20 seconds and then slowly withdraw the syringe. Look at the figure. If aspirate is negative, it means there is no blood in the needle during aspiration. So it is called negative aspirate. Then we will deposit anesthetic solution slowly. But if aspirate is positive, it means we are entering into the blood vessels. So we will withdraw the needle and then change the path so, so that we will get a negative aspirate. As you can see in the figure, we have a positive aspirate means there is a blood in the needle. It means we are entering into a blood vessel. So we have to change the part. Now try to understand with the figure. If we give the supraperiosteal injection in the posterior region of the maxilla that is in, that is in the premolar area. So first of all, see the uh, landmark around the premolar area. We have an extra oral soft tissue, then we have a palatal soft tissue and bone, then we have an alveolar mucous membrane. So the area which is anesthetized is the nearby the premolar if we give a local infiltration or a supraperiosteal injection as you can see in the figure. The area anesthetized by the local infiltration near the first premolar is, so the area anesthetized is the root area and the pulp of the tooth and the buccal periosteum and the mucous membrane this is for a local infiltration is for a local area mean uh, limited to a one or a two tooth if we if you have to anesthetize more than a one dentition then we will you will give a nerve block okay the sign and the symptoms of the supraperiosteal injection that patient feels is the feeling of numbness in the area of administration so you have to ask the patient that you are feeling numb in the area of administration or not. It will confirm the infiltration. Advantages of supraperiosteal injection is high success rate that is greater than 95%. Technically easy injection just you have to place the uh, needle of the syringe parallel to the tooth you have to anesthetize. So it is a technically very easy technique and usually entirely atraumatic as the palatal anesthesia is very traumatic and compared to the nerve block they are they are atraumatic and the disadvantages of supraperiosteal injection is of course it is not given for a larger area it is given for a small area or a particular tooth so not recommended if not recommended for larger area because of the need for multiple needle insertions and the necessity to administrate larger total volume of local anesthetics so in such cases nerve blocks are preferred and yeah local infiltration mainly works in maxilla because the bone of maxilla is porous so the local anesthetic easily penetrates the uh, penetrates the root apex I hope this video is helpful for you. Do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any problem related to this topic, do ask in comment section.